Hi everyone, Rebecca here for Petri Cut Files with one of my layouts for January. Um, today I'm using the January Cut File from the January release and also the Knitted Background Cut File from December. Uh, today I'm trying a new technique which was to use a photograph to cut a cut file. Um, so I've had this idea for a little while. I haven't, I don't think I've ever seen this done anywhere else. I'm sure it must have been done. Um, I've not seen it done. Um, so yeah, I had this idea, just waiting for the right cut file, the right photograph. Um, and I got this lovely photograph from a recent trip away. And I thought it would really suit. Um, and I love how there's like a little bit of lens flare caught just in the centre there. Um, so the cut file that I've cut there, the knitted background, that took quite a while to cut. Um, but so worth it. I love all the texture that it gives. But I just wanted to use parts of it. Um, it kind of gives me sort of cosy, comfy, like sort of comfort hygge vibes. Uh, so I really wanted that with the January. And I've used the Bungalow Lane collection, which I think also is sort of all about comfort comfort and, and sort of keeping cosy. So I'm chopping into the background cut file. I want to have some empty space reaching diagonally across the page from top right to bottom left, um, but I don't want a half straight line. Um, so I'm just kind of chopping with my craft knife into the background cut file um, to have that little bit of empty space there. So the photographs I'm using, as I mentioned, they're from a recent trip away. Um, I turned 40 in December. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, and this was one of my uh, birthday treats, a little breakaway with my hubby. Um, we don't get away very often together, just us two. So, you know, having some adult conversation for 24 hours was lovely. Um, yeah, really lovely. We were blessed with the beautiful weather uh, down in this gorgeous harbour, um, which is what which is the photograph that I've used to cut the word January, um, a photograph from the harbour. So I've decided I want my January photograph cut file to have a small white border uh, around it. Um, I should have done that when I was cutting on the cutting machine, uh, but I didn't plan that far advance. So I've done it by hand, uh, just with some scrap cardstock. And then I've decided to add some of these positive pieces back into the spaces into these knitted spaces uh, on the background cut file um so i've just kind of added a few in a little bit like you know if you paint a brick wall you just paint some of the bricks um and you still get the effect that it's a brick wall um i've kind of decided to try that um so i've just added some of the knitted pieces back in um and hopefully that gives the effect of a knitted background um now i'm going to apologize for any background noise or, or sort of sounds that you can hear uh, we are self-isolating at the moment. Uh, we've got a positive case in our household. Uh, so but not an awful lot of privacy or quietness at the moment. Uh, so yeah, that will account for any background noises you can hear. Okay, so I decided to pop my January photograph cut file up on some foam uh, just some adhesive foam there and my photographs um that is the sticks to foam sheets which i love i wanted then to have an echo of some of that blue that's in the j of january over on the left hand side um, and that bungalow lane paper is just the perfect blue and um, so i've added a sliver of that in behind that left hand photograph um and now i have to say i spent ages and ages uh, embellishing this page. I just faffed about for ages. Um, nothing looked right. I wanted it to kind of be sort of blue, neutral, and then I ended up adding in some pink, but I couldn't, I just found it hard to <laughs> embellish. Uh, so you'll see me just shuffling things around for quite a while. <laughs> So I decided to add that little pink house uh, down at the bottom right hand corner. Um, I liked the colour, I don't think it's particularly relevant really to uh, my, my photograph or the, or the sort of subject of my journaling. Um, but yeah, I just liked how it looked. Um, it did have some green bushes uh, out the front of that uh, embellishment and I've covered that with another pink sticker. Um, didn't really want to introduce any green into the page.
Oh, so I even struggled to get my journaling straight. <laughs> I was on the struggle train with this one today. Um, so yeah, I've just added some journaling and some gold splatter. I decided to just mute down a few of those knitted pieces with some white gesso. Um, I, I don't know if it particularly shows, but I just added a little bit of white gesso to some of those knitted pieces and a couple of pear tree pieces hearts, uh, just in white and pale blue. Looking at this the following day, um, I decided that something was missing. So I've added some stitching, just a slight bit of distressing to just turn back some of the edges of the paper. And then I've added ever such a sliver of that blue that I've used uh, in the page just to get peaks of it just on the edge. I think that just adds that final touch. Thank you so much for joining me for this layout. I love how this came out, uh, this technique using the photograph uh, in a cut file. Um, if you do try this, please do tag me in it because I'd love to see that technique with different photographs and cut files and to see the effects. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Lots of close-ups coming now. Bye.